So what we want to take a look at right now are the differences between iOS and iOS XR. Um, mostly looking at how uh, that two-stage commit model really works um, and how it differs from iOS. Uh, and what I mean by that is in iOS, what you what you type in configuration mode takes effect the instant you hit the command uh, the carriage return. Um, so if I were to show you an example, here on we are on uh, ASR 9K called iOS XR. If we wanted to change that host name to let's say uh, we'll call it RSU uh, RSU 9K host name RSU 9K. We can see that the host name on uh, on the prompt here remains iOS XR has not changed like you would like it would have in iOS. In order to actually get that to change, you need to commit the change um, within the router itself with the with the command commit. Um, and we can see now the host name has changed. So where does this become handy? Well, you can stage configurations. You can actually go ahead and apply config. Uh, you can. You can input configurations and see how it looks against uh, existing running configs. Um, it really is another fail-safe mechanism or way of staging configurations before you actually get to the point where you need in your operations uh, where you actually need to apply them. And so let's take a look at how we can actually use this in a real-world situation. We have a uh, 10 gig interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 slash 0 configured with some minimal information. So let's take a look at that. Show run 10 gig. Okay, all we have on here right now is uh, some description information. So let's go ahead and apply an IP address to that. We'll apply the IP address 10.10.10.10 slash 24 and again we'll see if this was applied do show run okay we can see that that has not been applied and that's because we have not committed it we have not issued the command commit uh, to the interface you can also go back to global configuration mode and issue the show configuration command and see what this configuration would look like uh, if it were applied and you do that with the show configuration merge command. And now the output shows what it would look like with the actual new configuration applied. This can be very helpful for you uh, in a production environment um, where you don't actually want to commit anything, but you want to see how it changes your running configuration. Um, again, to actually apply the changes, you just issue the commit command. And then you can verify that the configuration was actually applied. 